Good day everyone, this is Matthew from the Elevation Platform and I'm here to do a quick tutorial on what I call wallets for EVT. Wallets for EVT. Uh, basically, one of the things that is actually pending right now is the distribution of tokens. And we have said that um, uh, basically, okay, excuse me, sorry, but I needed to pause that. We have actually said that uh, for you to receive your elevation tokens, you need some special wallets. Uh, the wallets that you're going to actually install either in your mobile phone or in your laptop, and then you can receive the token and then you start to do transactions. Actually, that's why the online store is still waiting. We want to send tokens to all those who have invested, who have bought tokens from their elevation account to their personal wallets, and then we can launch the online store and then business commences from there. So, uh, in this tutorial, I'll be explaining the wallets that you need to use for elevation tokens. Now, there are just two wallets that I'll be recommending. They are very good and reliable. Now, the first one, now depending on the device that you're using, you can now decide on which of the wallets you're going to be using. Like the first um, wallet I'll be recommending is Intoken 2.0. Uh, Intoken 2.0 basically is good for mobile phone users. If you're using a mobile phone, just the way you use your WhatsApp, your Telegram, and other applications you can install this application this wallet is very very secured and good now let, let's talk about um, some advantages of using this wallet the usefulness and advantages now basically the first thing you need to know is that this wallet this wallet is actually made for ethereum and ethereum based tokens now it's meant for ethereum if you have ethereum you can store you can store it in this wallet and then there are some tokens also that work like Ethereum that runs on the um, that, that that also runs on the Ethereum uh, blockchain. So those tokens they they have the same security, the same transaction speed with Ethereum and all that. So um, fortunately, uh, the, the good news is that if it is one of those tokens, if it is just like Ethereum has the same uh, runs on the Ethereum blockchain, has the same transaction speed, the same security with Ethereum. And so that's why we're recommending this wallet. You can use it to store Ethereum and store EVT. The second thing you need to know about this wallet is that it is very, very much secured. All right, security is very strong. Now, um, you know, sometimes when you recommend this kind of wallet, people people start asking you, what what if if my phone is stolen? What if my phone is damaged and all that? It doesn't mean that my, my EVT is gone. No, it's not gone. Now, the, the app or your wallet is not tied to any device. There's a code that, you, that when you're creating your wallet, there's a code that, that they're going to give you to write down. With that code, you can access your wallet from any device. Even if your device gets stolen or is missing or is damaged, just get a new device, put the code, all your tokens will appear on that new device. Another question is, uh, what happens to the one that is missing? What Maybe somebody stole it, a thief or thereabout, and is still using my phone. What happens? The, the, the truth of the matter is that the, the, the wallet is designed that before any transaction can take place, the person needs to impute your password. And so if the person doesn't know your password, the person may be looking at your 100 EVT or your 120 EVT or your 500 EVT inside the wallet, but the person cannot do any transaction with it. And the moment you recover your wallet in a new device, you now take charge and control. All right, so that's a very good one. And that's why I like this app. All right. Uh, number three is that it gives you transaction history, detailed transaction history. One good thing I really like about this app is that it gives you some, some sort of an alert when a transaction is made from your wallet. Five EVTs, uh, five EVT has been sent out of your wallet. 20 EVT has been received into this wallet. So they give you an alert. It's just like your normal banking app. And that's why I like it. Very, very good and reliable. Hello. All right. So basically, um, also, okay, so how do you install this app? How do you install the Im Token app? It's very simple. Open your phone, go to your um, Google Play Store, just like you have here, your Google Play Store app. Open it, and then you're, you're supposed to type in Im Token 2.0. Make sure you spell it correctly so they don't give you another kind of app. Im Token 2.0. Now, the moment you type it correctly, they're going to give you some options, and then you're going to locate this particular one that has the logo. Im Token 2.0, Ethereum, EOS, Cosmos wallet and then you click on it it then opens up for you to install all right so you just click on the installation button and you, you give it some time to install it's actually going to start installing into your phone and then finally you're going to see it as one of the apps you have in your phone can you see that here like i already have it here in token all right so what you need to do is to open it up the moment you open it up, you're going to have two options, create identity, recover identity, identity actually of wallets, 
all right is that is either you want to create a new wallet or you recover an old wallet just like i just told you maybe your device was stolen maybe your your your, your device got damaged and all that and you could not access your wallet from there but if you have the code you can look install the ink token app in any other device and recover your your wallet so that's why they put this option recover identity now for uh for this moment for this tutorial we're going to create a new identity we're creating a new wallet so you're going to click on create identity and then they're going to bring you to another screen where you're going to have uh terms and conditions you just need to take some time and read through um about the app and all that and what the app is used for and then when you're done reading you have to scroll down click on this uh you have to scroll down click on this little stuff here circle and then a check mark is going to appear you say i have carefully read and agreed to the above terms and conditions and then you click on continue the moment you click on continue they now bring you to the next stage where you're you're going to impute your name all right you may you may decide not to put your name anyway you can put any other name that is related to the wallet for example if you have a if you want to be using it for your organization for your company you can put your business name there you can just put any name just to identify the wallet and you're expected to put a password provide a password between nine to ten characters a combination of um maybe uh, numbers alphabet and symbols so you just just mix them up like that make sure it's something you can easily remember because without your password your wallet is stuck you need to take note of that so before you impute a password either you write it down or you make sure it's something you can easily remember so you put your password and you're able to repeat the same password okay and then uh you go to password hint password hint is optional you can put anything there or you can decide to leave it blank and then okay just like i did here i, I just named this wallet testing and i put a password here and i'm repeating i repeated a password here i just left the hint i don't, I don't want to put anything there and then you're going to come down to click on create now the moment you click on create it's going to start creating you're going to see this stuff moving and it's going to start creating and after that it brings you to the next um, stage now this time they're going to warn you because they're about to show you the code that will be responsible for the security of this wallet so they they're they're warning you that this code is very important all you need to do is to write it down now basically you are not allowed to screenshot this code in your phone because it, it makes no sense the wallet is in your phone the code to secure it is also in your phone now, if your phone gets stolen everything is gone your wallet is gone the code that you would have used to recover it is also gone so it doesn't make any sense so that's why they're advising that you write it down the code is actually called the mnemonic key the mnemonic, the, the mnemonic key now you, you're expected to just save it write it on a piece of paper the combination of 12 words and so they said offline storage offline storage means don't even save it in any place don't save it on whatsapp don't save it on facebook don't save it on telegram don't even email it to yourself you're expected to write it down on a paper outside of the internet outside of the internet and then after reading all this you're gonna click next and then you see they warn you again do not take screenshot all right you need to write it down so you click i understand and then you see it's going to start exporting as you can see it's going to start exporting exporting it's going to take a while and then finally they bring you the code this is the mnemonic key or the mnemonic phrase for this wallet it is tied to the wallet it's a security for this wallet every wallet has its own mine may not be yours okay so basically you're going to have you're gonna have all kinds of stuff right here and then uh, what you need to do is to kind of uh, fiber okay these words you're gonna take a paper write them down fiber fiber mixture shop parade femme kidney tag serial limit try crazy vote like I said this is mine yours may be different a combination of words but they have to be 12 words scattered in a particular order okay and then basically after noting these things after writing them down you're going to click on next now immediately the system is going to test you again to be sure that you actually uh, saved everything down correctly okay they don't want you to make any mistakes so they're going to bring the same words again but scattered right these are the 12 words that you just wrote down but they scatter them and then the system is going to challenge you to rearrange them again the right order just be sure just to be sure that you've gotten it so you're going to start clicking you go to I think fiber was the first word you click on it go to the next one click you'll be using the paper you wrote to guide you click 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 and rearrange in the right order and then finally you click on done so when you're done with that after rearranging everything you click on done the system is going to confirm it says correct order of mnemonic phrase all right if you miss anyone they're also going to tell you error it's not correct check again check your paper put this put that put that and then so the moment you put it correctly 
You click on done, it takes you to your wallet. So congratulations, you're now done. In token 2.0, welcome. All right. So basically, you just click on start now. They're gonna open the wallet for you, and what you're gonna see there is Ethereum. Only Ethereum right there. Can you see? It? And then from Ethereum stuff, you're gonna click on that Ethereum. Click on Ethereum. You it's gonna open by it. now. You really want to get your address. If somebody wants to send you EVT, what address are you gonna to send to them? All right. So you just come to receive. See receive down here. Click on receive. Click on receive now. This box is gonna pop up with your address, EVT, um, ETH wallet. So this is your address. It's the same address you're gonna be using to receive Ethereum and EVT. All right. Okay. So you're gonna have it. All the Ethereum addresses starts from OX. OXD, okay, like this particular one, OSD970743. Now, to copy this address, you're going to click on this little box at the end. There are two boxes here. This is a symbol for copy. This is a symbol for copy. So you just go there and click with your phone. You can just tap, tap them, and then it's already copied. You get a notification that it's been copied, and then you can paste it anywhere. You can send it to your Telegram. You can send it to your WhatsApp, to your Facebook. Now you can send this to anywhere. Now what you should guide seriously and secretly is your mnemonic phrase, your mnemonic key. Those twelve words you wrote down. But for your address, you can send to anybody in any part of the world to send you EVT to send you um, Ethereum all right so basically you after copying that what you need to do now is to go to your elevation profile and install this address there how are you going to do that just log into your elevation account and then from there after logging to your elevation account you go to menu click on the menu here and it's going to bring you options you click on profile so you're going to go to your profile and so basically your profile has a lot of information about you you're going to see things about your name your email and all that just scroll down to where you have ethereum address ethereum address and then you're going to touch your phone depending on the way your phone works you're going to touch and paste that address here i remember this was the address i copied oxd970734 this is my ethereum wallet address after pasting it you're going to scroll down and click update profile update profile and then finally it's done now if you are using a laptop or a computer and you want to install uh, you want to receive EVT you want to access your Ethereum wallet or you want to create an Ethereum wallet to receive your EVT it's very simple go to the website www.myetherwallet.com take note of the spelling myetherwallet.com so you're gonna click on it and it's gonna take you straight to that website myetherwallet.com this is a very good website for creating Ethereum wallet from your laptop or from your desktop computer all right so now when you get here I, I like using the older version they just they just created this new version and they are still trying to fix things up around it but I like using the older version so they created this option missing the vintage MEW click here so I can decide to click uh, to go to the newer version sorry to, um, to go to the older version and it's just gonna bring me right here now it's easier to use over here so you're just going to see this pop up just close this and then you're going to have this environment so the first option you have is create new wallet so you're going to, you're, you're going to put a password for your wallet you can give it any any name any uh any any kind of password from nine to ten characters and all that so i can just decide to put a password all right so when i'm done you see the lines will become green that that means they've accepted what i typed in and i'm just going to um, and I'm gonna click on create new wallet I'm gonna click on create new wallet and uh, well it's really gonna take time then you have your key store file your key store file is a particular file that is used to secure your wallet uh, it's like a file that you you'll save in your laptop and anytime you want to um, check your wallet anytime you want to access things from your wallet you can bring up this file and click and call it up and your wallet will open like a security file that is tied to your wallet so you can just decide to download and then it's going to really come up right here uh, and then you're going to really really save and all that just save it somewhere in your laptop take note of where you saved into and then finally you're going to say i understand continue it's going to continue now this is the main thing this is the actual thing that you really need to take note of and what is that 
your private key. Your private key is just like a, it's just like your mnemonic key in your um, Imp Token 2.0. But for my Ether wallet, you're gonna have to copy this down. See, I, I just have to copy it down. Maybe I can. I like saving things like this in Notepad. I just right click and paste in Notepad like a long code that's actually used to save actually used to secure your wallet so I can just call this um, private key all right and then I, I'm going to also get the address the wallet address should be there and then after saving it you can also decide to print it out that's another option and then you say save your address and then um, immediately they're going to bring you options to access your new wallet so you have two options that that key that file that we saved you can decide to save this file down or basically you use your mnemonic key if you saved it down and then you have your private key so this time I'm gonna use private key and then I'm just gonna go to copy that stuff that I used before copy and then I'm gonna paste inside this box and then you see it has opened okay I'm just gonna click on unlock and then uh, let's see how that goes it's gonna really take take a while and then it's gonna unlock all right that's my new wallet it's been unlocked and I can now see my wallet address I can also copy this down and then uh, maybe save it save it uh, on that same notepad file where I saved the private key and I can save this in my system or in a very safe place all right so this is my wallet and this is everything I have in it so how do I now open the wallet maybe at any time I can go back my wallet.com I can stick on here my wallet.com and then I'll click on uh, click here to go back it's just gonna um, take me back to uh, the older version and this time I'm not gonna create a new address anymore I'm just gonna go to send ETA and token you see it and then I'll click on private key and I'll, I'll go to where I saved the private key and just gonna copy and I'm just gonna copy the private key from here and then I'm going to paste the moment I paste, I'm going to click on unlock. From unlock, you're going to understand exactly what's going to happen, and everything is going to actually, it's going to open my wallet for me. And then from there, I will now install EVT. Now, this is the Ethereum uh, wallet that's been created for me. How can I install EVT? Now, basically, EVT may come with some wallets after installation. Like you click on show all tokens, you see EVT is already there showing zero. But assuming it's not there, let me just remove it right now. EVT has been cancelled. How do I add EVT to a new wallet? Simple. I'll click on Add Custom Token, and then there are three things that will require from you. Those things will be posted in the in the in, in in the next update and in all our social media channels so that you can be able to access them. You need to have the contract address, the symbol, and then the decimal. So they are here. We're gonna we're gonna release this information out. So this is the contract address. You just copy this right here and then paste inside contract address it's gonna appear right here you see it's already green it's green right there that means the contract address is correct and then you're gonna go to symbol symbol is EVT okay you're gonna go to symbol EVT once again it's green is correct and then the decimal decimal is 8 I'm gonna copy the decimal which is 8 and I'm gonna paste it green, 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 and I'm gonna save. The moment I save, the moment I save this is actually going to open. Um, it's gonna install EVT into this now. You see, EVT has been added. There are a lot of tokens. That's why I said um, the Ethereum uh, wallet can hold so many tokens. You see, EVT is just among the list right now. Uh, so many of them have zero EVT. So after doing that, you can now copy your address, copy this address, and then send it to your elevation profile. Just like I told you before, log into your elevation account, go to profile, and then locate Ethereum address, put this address there. When we send your EVT, you're going to see it appear right here so thank you very much this is uh, a quick tutorial for your wallets and for everything that you need to know about uh, the, the elevation token and how to store them thank you very much God bless you for your time